Easy now. Uh, did a load of stuff earlier. Realised that during the stuff that I was doing, I can't show you now because I'm on the phone. I was sat with my phone and my tablet and watching YouTube on my PC. So I had every single piece of connectivity I own sat next to me. And then that really frightened me for a moment because I thought, fucking hell, Dave, you need to go and do something else with your life. <gasps> So I asked what I should do, and uh, someone said that I should have a little talk about this little lady. Oh, Now, the reason I think some said I should have a talk about that little lady is because I was asked, did it meet up to expectations? I look like a tramp at the moment, by the way. I look super tired. The lighting on here puts every frown on my face in shadow. <sighs> is it Christmas yet? I don't even want Christmas presents. I don't want Christmas Day. I don't want... I just... I want 10 days off. So very badly. <laughs> I'm watching comedy on... I've got my PlayStation going again. I've been watching YouTube and Netflix and stuff. Uh, but I've been watching Blu-ray. I've seen Need for Speed. I've seen Guardians of the Galaxy. I've watched uh, the new Transformers film, Age of Extinction. Uh, tonight I'm going to watch Star Trek Into Darkness, all on Blu-ray, through some really nice speakers, and it's just blooming lovely. I absolutely love it. It's just fantastic. Oh, it's so good. Was I interested in RC? Did it meet up to the hype? Well, no, not really, because I wasn't expecting to love nor want RC at all. Um... Of all the stuff that was going on with regards to the Legends, the, the Generations figures, I was banging to Jahaxis. I'm really loving the animals. I just, I'm loving the animals. They're great. Uh, skids, I was really looking forward to. RC and Chromia, no. Scott Barker, I've got to talk to you. I still want that Chromia. I'm just shit. I ought to do it now while I'm thinking about it, but. Um, I didn't want RC. She just sort of passed me by. And then Stu got his and started flaunting it like a showboater that he is. Look at my new toy. And then everyone started doing it. I was like, maybe she's worth a look. And then I saw her in the box at all the cool stuff. And I absolutely just completely fell in love with her instantly. She is... Strawberry ice cream. She's raspberry ripple. She's... Really, really sexy. Beautiful. So that's her. And I'm going to do her car mode first. I've taken all the bits that are hanging off her. Oh. Now this is interesting because often I've found in the past that girly bots have tried to be sort of manly girly bots. Does that make sense? RC, is it, although she is small in mass because she's a motorbike, she's still a badass sports bike. Do you know what I mean? Whereas this is just unashamedly girly. And I think that's why it works. It's so girly. It's so pink. You know the car from the Pink Panther? This is the car from the Pink Panther. Ah, oh, it's really, really good. The colours are spot on. And it's got weapon storage. It comes with three weapons. This is the only weapon that counts. I'm going to show you now. This weapon. I'm recording this on my phone. I'm wondering if it's going to work. It's it. I tried a bit earlier. It seemed to go all right. That's the weapon. It's really, really pretty. The colours are great. It slots fantastically into the bottom of the car. It comes with this little pistol. And it comes with... Swords! Is it a gun? Is it a sword? Is it a gun? Is it a sword? The pistols are nice. The big gun's lovely. The swords, they're shit. In fact, I'm really pissed off that too many toys are coming with too many weapons to lose. I just want a main gun. I wore two little clippy things like came on the old generations figures. I don't want a toy with 18 guns anymore. I've not even taken any of Roadbusters out because I know I'm just going to fucking lose them. I'm warming to Roadbuster. Anyway, I was talking about uh, RC. 
she's sexy. She's really, really properly sexy. I'm going to turn her into... You've all seen this a thousand times. I'm just going to go through it quickly. But all you do is you take... Look, look. All of this back of the car is hips. So if you pull this out of the socket... And, and as well as that, can you see in... Where are we? Deep in there. You're right in there. There are little hooks that hold onto her legs. She holds onto her own ass. <laughs> I love that. It's brilliant. So you flip all that like that. You're going to put all of that like that. And then you're going to... Can you see under here? I'm going to push that like that. And I'm going to push that like that. And now... <laughs> look at that <up> bum. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. You're going to put that back. You're going to tuck that under there like that. You're going to lift that up. And you're going to split the... See this little three-piece motif? You're going to take that piece there and you're going to push it down. You're going to take the arms, which are under there, split that, split that. You're going to push all of that down so it starts creating a body. But before you do all of that rubbish, you're going to wiggle the back of the car back like that which is going to sit over the backpack, which means when you get in here and you start pulling the top about, that hook piece is going to hook over where the arms are. And if you'll forgive me, because this is a bit that I can't really do. In there. Well, I did it. I did it. Like that. Okay, so it's on a hinge, sits down like that, makes your arms stay in the same place. You've got RC. She's lovely. I wasn't into this. I saw the photos and I just didn't really give a shit about it. She poses unbelievably well. She goes forwards, out. She goes massive knee joints like that. She goes up, down. She goes at the elbow. She turns at the head. She has, without a shadow of a doubt. Let's see what we can do without befuddling things. Hang on. Wait there a second. If I go like that and I go like that and I go like that... Look, look. That's just silly, that is. Stay. Um, I wasn't expecting to get this at all. Uh, I thought this would just be one of those ones that I got right at the end when I wasn't really c meaning to collect the last ones. You know, when you can just, you think I might pick one up, I'm okay with that. I thought she'd be one. She's probably the most pick-up-and-play toy that I've played with for absolutely ages. Obviously, the other gun will have a post. Or these have got all sorts of ways of going about things. So I can push that peg into her hand and she can hold the weapon. Or I can push the sword handle through her hand. And then you've got these hand protectorators on there as well she does all sorts and because of her posability she's not just a sh this is the kind of girl that needs to sit on her own with a little bit of distance around her so you can really pose her out <sighs> i love her Stuart nicholson who asked me the question on the facebook page earlier what did i think of rc i love her she's a very beautiful sexy motherfucker <laughs>